Hi, in this video on the Lemco HCL804 CT digital head end, what we're going to do is we're going to set this up working with two um, HDMI inputs. The first actually is a combo receiver and the other one is an Android box. Both have HDMI leads feeding into input one and two on the unit here. And what we're going to do then is we're also going to combine in a UHF aerial input which is bringing in a DVB-T signal. In this case it's from, from Serview high definition but it could equally be Freeview high definition uh, input as well. You combine the fit, uh, all the signals together and then you can um, We'll, we'll display it here working on the local TV here, which is taking a DVB-T uh, input via the local tuner. Um, so basically, HDMI inputs on this side, and then we have our output on this side, and the loop through from the UHF aerial on this side as well. So what I'll do now is I'll actually go directly over uh, to the TV here. So one thing, one or two things I'm going to mention here. The UHF aerial, after using a launch amplifier here just to ram the signal through, we have a marginal uh, UHF, UHF signal in our setup here. So if that's the case, sometimes you will need to use a, a launch amplifier. But I found that pretty typical across uh, head-end setups. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm just going to come along and just going to hit the button one. And we'll, I'll just show you here where we have our local um, Serview channel here. So that's just an ad coming up all the rest of it here. But if I come along, I'm bringing up uh, OK here. I'll bring up our menus and we can see we have all of the main Irish channels here. And I'll just look down and all of a sudden we'll see where we have um, the, the different uh, satellite things. And program one we've set up to be coming in directly off of our, um, our Android box here. So you can see that there. And we've got channel up from there. We've got the program two. We'll see actually what we have as an input here directly off our satellite receiver, okay? So we can just go up and down and I can flick through it on that. And we could do the same all the way through. If I, if I actually came along here and I hit the menu button here on the television, and I came over as far as the channel applications, things like that, and I went to DVB-T manual tune. Sorry, I hit the wrong button there. I'll just arrow down here. Um, just enter here. And we'll see here that we have it on channel 36. So what we actually have is the terrestrial channels that are coming in here on DVB-T are on channel 23 and 26 on our local transmitter. So what we've actually done there is we chose 36 there, bring it through. We can see we had a really high signal le length there. That menu thing just timed out for me. And uh, I'll just quickly scroll down to it again because uh, I just think it's worth, worth having a quick look at here. And you can see that it was extremely strong signal, all the rest of it, and we can see the bandwidth. And we, both channels, actually, if I was to go to the next channel in the sequence, it had come there on channel 36 as well, simply because, um, you know, you'll have seen with MUXs and things like that, you can have six or eight channels per MUX. The way they've set it up here is you have two channels on the first frequency, and then the next set of channels is on the next available channel up. So on this one here, we would have set it up two channels in 36, 2 and 37, 2 and 38, and 2 and 39. So we would have worked through there on it. And that type of spacing on this, because it's giving a really clean cutoff in between signals, is working extremely well for us. So overall, we'll say this worked extremely well. The other videos that we're going to need in this series is, we obviously have our overview video at the start, just displaying exactly what this type of head end is for. But we're also going to cover the whole web, um, the web interface here, where we're able to set this up in terms of the output frequencies and all the rest of it. And there's other things you can do, obviously, like changing some of the LCN stuff and all the rest of it, which we'll try to go into a little bit of detail on. But this is a super piece of kit. You can imagine how easy this is in terms of setting it up for this, or stacking these, all the rest of it. What a neat solution you have. And how many televisions can you send it to in a setup like this? We've obviously sent it just to one television here, but it, it's really limited to the size of your distribution network here. And the thing about it is something like this can be retrofitted to an existing system. So if you're distributing analog signal around your setup, you can just switch this straight over and now you can distribute digital and go directly to the digital tuners on your TV. So that's it anyway, an overview of the actual setup of the Lemco uh, 8-way uh, digital head end.